You believe that you are doing something greater than life. You were supposed to do it. You carry that faith in you, and you continue on day after day for three years. I always knew that I would have a meaningful military service. I didn't know that it would be the border police. Initially, you come with a vision. You feel you're going to change the world. The border police, a special unit guarding Israel's borders. Susanna, the youngest daughter in a family which made Aliyah from the former Soviet Union, is realizing a dream to become a commander in this special unit. Work was very difficult in every aspect. It was an explosive situation. Every day you deal with terrorist infiltrations which you must prevent. It is not easy at all serving in this company. Susanna had many difficult deliberations. Why are you doing this? Why do you keep on doing this day in, day out? Why aren't you breaking down? Needing to prove yourself both within the company, to yourself, to your commanders, the other combatants. Because I was the company commander, not just a fighter. It required even greater strength on my part. I think that if I was afraid, I wouldn't be there, because it's very hard to survive when you're afraid. Out of that same incredible effort and strength, Susanna was asked to step in and replace another combatant on duty. I wasn't even supposed to be on duty. The deputy company commander came up to me and said, listen, I've got a serious problem. Aviv has been on duty for 14 hours. Do something, fill in for him. A terrorist came, he shot at both of us. My soldier was killed on the spot. I put my hand on my rifle and didn't even have time to turn around. They shot four bullets into me, two crushed my left hand, one in the head and one in the chest. One, two minutes and I didn't know where I was. Didn't feel anything. Everything went black, couldn't see a thing. Just spots, only spots. I felt like I didn't have a left arm at all, but I saw blood. I saw blood stains by the head. The thing that have helped me to overcome myself was the thought they might kidnap Rami's body. I was afraid the terrorists would kidnap him. We've had similar cases like that. Susanna, critically wounded, shot at the terrorist and made him flee. At the hospital, the doctors fought to save her life. The doctor told my mother it's a miracle. I didn't think I'd see her alive. I saw her clothes covered in blood. Now things are all right. We arrived when she was in surgery, having brain surgery. When she came out of the operating room, I looked at her face and said, she's alive, her face is okay, everything will be fine. That's how she came out. I had surgery on my head and half of the left side of my head was stitched up. So I had no hair here, and even now I can't feel this side. I have a bit of difficulty with my field of vision on my right eye because of the head injury. As far as my arm, I can't pick up this arm. The range is shorter than my right arm. And scars. There are scars all over my chest and scars on my left arm. I also have problems with my back because of what happened. After weeks in hospital and a lengthy rehabilitation, there was a sudden decline in Susanna's condition. I said to my mother that it feels like something is dripping out of my head. A nurse came and said we need to take an ambulance immediately back to Hadassah Hospital. They inserted a tube into my spine. Every move I made, even of a finger, caused excruciating pain. I couldn't even sit on my own, I couldn't bend down, and the nurse and my mother had to put me in bed. Suddenly, I couldn't see. My vision was blurred in both eyes. I was afraid that I'd go blind. I was nervous and remember I cried, really cried. It is my gift from God, twice. I decided during rehab that I would go on with my plans. I have two legs, two arms. I traveled a lot. Met up with lots of friends. I knew I wanted to study law. 
I did my BA and passed the bar exams. Now an attorney, Susanna arrives at Beit HaLochem. Look who I brought! There's an Olympic swimming pool, open to members. There are great water activities that make you stronger. Hi, Dvora. Hi. Hi. This is nice to meet you. Here is the most state-of-the-art hydrotherapy pool in the Middle East. It's for adults only, only tzal disabled veterans. This is Nimrod. He brought us Olympic champions in recent years at the Paralympic Games. You too should hook up. He's a serious pro. The future lies before you. You can dream and achieve things. You just need to be motivated and make the effort. Did you ever play tennis? No. How many times a week do you play? We come here every day. So what is your dream, counselor? To succeed in my profession, have a family, and at the end of the day, accept who you are, with your injury and all, and be healthy. Small things. Small things. I can totally smile. <laughs>